all right guys what's up uh this is part two of our shower stall upgrade today we're gonna be tackling the frp panels um so follow us along for this one and i uh, hope you enjoy but next step is gonna be uh pull this panel for the shower controls off So, uh, next step is I need to strip these walls, get the trim off, and this upper trim, because I'm going to go all the way to the ceiling with it. And then this side I'm going to take out. I'm going to duck under this trim for the door. That way. Okay, so in the garage here, and we're just gonna go over kind of what's going on here, uh, all the stuff I have. Um, first off, I've got this Ultra Seal, it's silicone, uh, kitchen and bath right there, and gloss white. Um, you want good quality stuff, and that's at home and in the camper, and then I got to actually attach the paneling to the walls, I got this power grab. Uh, it's all weather. It's the ultimate. Uh, it's wet locations are good. And then uh, I've got two different profiles on the trim. This is a corner bead. And this is like an end cap piece. And then obviously I have three different panels that I'm gonna need. And then if you read on here, it tells you right here that this side's of the panel's treated to accept water-based adhesive. So you wanna make sure that this side is gonna be uh, against the wall. That way you can, uh, it'll stick really well. Uh, I put some of this stuff in our laundry room and it does a great job. I used all the same stuff. Um, trim wise and material to attach with uh, but I went over drywall in in the uh, laundry room uh, and that would be the only difference so uh, I'm going to set you up back here and I'm just going to cut all the panels and uh, we're going to work on getting them installed All right, so for this part, I'm just gonna take all the measurements that I took and uh, carefully lay all these panels out. And um, everything cut pretty easily with a utility knife. So if you're wondering how I cut it, that's all. I just had a utility blade, nothing fancy. And then, uh, like I said, just to, took really good measurements the first time. And uh, it's definitely a measured one, twice cut once scenario.
All right, now it's time to start applying the adhesive. Instead of uh, doing a full walkthrough, I'll just talk while, ever, while I'm working. Uh, as you can see, I went all the way around the outside edge of it and then kind of segmented it off into three sections and then did an S pattern. It seems to work really well. I tried not to make any space bigger than about six inches. That way you get full adhesion. And as you see when I'm going here, I just push it into place and then I'll take a utility blade and kind of trim up the edges. I also have a block of wood that I use for um, pushing the paneling down. You can use kind of a linoleum roller if you have one. I didn't have one at the time, so I just used a really smooth block of wood. That way I didn't scratch the paneling or uh, make it too nasty looking. So that's pretty much it. I did this on every panel. Just did the same pattern, segmented it off, did an S pattern in between the lines, and kept going.
right, guys, thanks for following us along on this one. Uh, got everything all sealed up. Hoping to get some good use out of it before too long. Uh, I think we're getting ready to head off Gold Shores. Um, hopefully that'll be the next episode after this one. So uh, follow us along on that. If you didn't get, if you didn't catch part one of the shower stall upgrade, it's the lowering of the shower. Um, it's not for everybody. Um, maybe if you need a couple more inches in the shower, it might help you. Uh, follow that one along. And uh, thanks for joining us. And we'll see you on the next one.